Kenneth here. I just want to give you a quick little uh, demo on kind of the methodology I've developed for enumerating liquid crystal displays. Uh, as you can see right here, what I have is a unmultiplexed raw liquid crystal display. So this means that there's uh, one pin for the back plane and then each individual segment has its own pin coming out. This is the easiest type of raw liquid crystal to drive. Uh, I've experimented a little bit with the multiplexed ones, but they have uh, been difficult. Uh, liquid crystal displays are a, a interesting beast. Is They are extremely high input impedance, and so if you just touch pins, uh, you will actually make them turn on or off and not or do. And uh, In addition to that, if you just bias it in one direction, uh, they will saturate fairly quickly and go out again. So like we'll see, as you can see, as I touch pins, they only stay lit for one or two seconds and then they fade out. Uh, that is the, it's a uh, ionic fluid in between the two conductive plates that separates and then becomes ineffective again. Uh, so to actually keep a segment lit, you actually need it to alternately bias it in one direction or the other. And I'm doing this as I have a little MSP right here just generating like 30 hertz. I have it driving the back plane and then I have a uh, bipolar transistor here to set up as an inverter. Uh, which means that the output of this inverter is now always the opposite polarity as the back plane. Uh, finding the back plane is a matter of just poking around until you find one pin that doesn't, with another pin, light up two segments, but instead only lights up one segment. Uh, now, as I poke around, at this point you can finally kind of see what's going on. Because you, know, you touch it to a segment and that one segment stays lit. You're like, alright, cool, that's that segment next segment, that one, that one, and then you can just sit here and scan all the way down as you would with a normal LED display just using a high input, high, high impedance power source. Uh, the multiplex ones are pretty difficult because driving them you need uh, switchable biases as far as impedance which I have not yet actually been able to figure out. So as I swipe along here, you can see that this is a uh, full four-segment, uh, four-digit display. Uh, I was afraid this was only going to be three and a half, but it's actually a four-digit. Uh, it's got a colon in the middle and then uh, decimal points on the bottom. So this is definitely uh, so this is this is going to be useful for whatever I want to use it for. I'm just going to have to you know get you know 28 different pinouts on it. But you can see, even just through the impedance of my hand, I can still get this stuff to light up. So it's a it's a hairy beast, but once you kind of develop a technique for not touching anything actually with your hands, uh, it works out pretty well.